Many commuters could soon be paying higher fares to ride the CTA. The Transit Authority Board is meeting today to consider raising the cash-only fare to $2. ABC 7's Rob Johnson's live at CTA headquarters with information on this proposed fare hike, Rob. Hello there, Alan. There is good news and bad news in the CTA's 2006 budget. The bad news is that fares will increase as of January 1st from $1.75 to $2 for those who pay by cash and those who use the transit cards on the L train. The good news is there will be no service cuts. This, as the CTA, becomes the focus of a class action lawsuit. For the second time in two years, cash-paying customers will have to dig into their wallets a little deeper. The Chicago Transit Authority prepared to increase the fare by 25 cents to $2. I'm really tired of the fare hikes. Uh, I think CTA does a pretty good, decent job, but they really ought to find another way to make it work other than raising fares. I'd pay another 25 cents if it meant that I got the service I continually get now. I'm much more concerned about the chance of them cutting routes, stopping service at certain stations, things like that. So I'd pay more to get the same service. This, the day after a class action lawsuit was filed against Alan. the CTA by a man who believes it is illegal for the transportation entity to collect unused fares off of expired transit cards. So you not only have to be the monitor how much money you put on their card every day where you, and be prepared to lose that money, which is completely unfair, or, you know, you have to find another way to ride the system without using their card. That used to be cash, but we don't want to use cash anymore. The CTA holds that money for you on deposit like a bank so that you can use it to pay for future rides. If you do not use the money before this arbitrary time expiration, the CTA keeps your money and gives you nothing in return. It's the fact that the CTA is a governmental entity which makes this an unconstitutional taking of your money. Now, we are anticipating hearing from CTA President Frank Cruzzi any moment. He's in executive session right now. We'd like to talk to him about the fair hike and about the class action suit. We hope to have that for you at 6 o'clock. For now, live in the West Loop, Rob Johnson, ABC 7 News. Alan? Okay, Rob, thanks. There's a developing story now.